Nixie here. If you seen my calendar video, you probably seen this paper bag already. And I showed three things that's inside it. White gesso by Reeves, white acrylic from Creation, and this flat brush. But this bag also contain red textile paint, yellow textile paint, blue, and brown. I also went to another store which called Expressions to get a black textile paint. Because for some reason, National Bookstore didn't have one. You seen the title and the thumbnail. We are going to paint on a denim jacket. Heck yeah. Here is a closer look of the paint. This creation white acrylic is just acrylic, but it says in the packaging that I can mix it with textile paint. So that's what I'm going to do. It's definitely available at online shops though. This is 100 ml. And it costs 74 pesos, so around 1 to 2 US dollars. I got different brands because the colors are only available in certain brands as textile paint. This yellow paint is from Color Plus, and look at that. I legit keep calling it Color Nix. Like at first glance, I'll automatically think Color Nix. Oh my god, I got a brand of paint. Kidding. Anyway, this is Color Plus. 125 ml and surprisingly cheaper than the white acrylic from creation it's only 58 pesos around a dollar red textile paint from creation 100 ml also cheaper than the acrylic i didn't know that textile paint is cheaper than acrylic because this one is only 74 pesos blue textile paint from color plus 125 ml 58 pesos brown textile paint from color plus 125 ml 58 pesos and then this one this tall boy is the black textile paint i don't know if the brand name is pronounced so fun or so fun but yeah there it is this brand is the cheapest it's 100 ml and for only 54 pesos. However, I'm a little bit confused because if you see the instructions at the back, it says wash or wipe off immediately while the paint is still wet. So maybe this means if I want to remove it, I still can just as long as I do it while it's wet. It's time to swatch all these on a piece of paper first starting with the white acrylic by the way i find that this white acrylic is not that opaque not really sure if it's supposed to be like that but these are cheap stuff so i'm not expecting much next is yellow and oh my goodness when i opened the jar for the first time i smelled gas like it smells so much like construction paint you know the paints you use for the walls and stuff it really smells so strong the creation textile smells like that too but the color plus one is so much worse but when i was watching it i was thoroughly impressed it was very opaque and smooth to work with it was really surprising but that's just the thing the smell is super strong, so if you're going to try this out, make sure where you at is very well ventilated. Next is the red paint from Creation, and to be honest, I liked the color pluses feel more than this. Also, I'm so glad that I got a not orangey red, more like magenta-ish, because that means I can create pink. Next is blue, and I find it kind of dark, which is kind of weird because there was a dark blue and I expected this just blue in a lighter shade, but oh well, it still works. There's a helicopter. Next one is brown, and to be honest, I do not know where to actually use this color. I got it hoping I can mix it with every colors to create black paint because National didn't have black till I checked expressions. But yeah, I really 
do not know where to use this color. I never did, like ever. It's really dark brown and I never used this in whatever medium. Where do you guys use this color? Please tell me because I want to be able to use my dark browns in my whole bind set. And lastly, this black paint from SoFun or SoFun. I really love this bottle. I just think it's less messy to work with. But anyway, I noticed immediately that this black paint isn't black at all. In fact, it's more neutral or paints gray color. Dark blue gray. And this is the less opaque out of the three brands. I think it's kind of watery if you know what I mean. And that's the swatches done. So of course, the next thing I did is see if they actually mix well together. And there it is. I love the colors. I can't really complain. My favorite would be the pastel ones. Lovely. But hold on. We are not going to paint on the denim jacket just yet. First, we need to try and see if these paints does its job. And its job is to actually stick on the fabric and not wash off. And actually paints, you know? We have to see if it would actually be vibrant on a fabric. Here, I got my shorts with a brown stain on it. Just a second, before you think of nasty thoughts, that is not what it looks like. It's a stain from this Dr. P.H. Martin's Iridescent Copper Gold Ink. I ordered this from Lazada and it came to me with clogged dropper and binder or something is so separated with the shimmer. And it was just a mess. It wasn't even gold anymore or copper, just literally brownish. More like rust. I got to fixing it though, kinda. But yeah, it stained my shorts. But I'm not really mad because they gave me a refund, so... I really didn't know what I'm gonna paint here, so I just painted a strawberry. It didn't matter if it's a pretty painting or not. I don't really care for the shorts anymore anyway. And we're skipping this part because I forgot to film the rest of the trial painting. And ta-da! Don't worry about the painting. It's ugly, I know, but... Let me tell you this, y'all. I smudged it and everything just to get the paints off, really trying to get the paints off. But as you can see, it didn't. The first strawberry though, did kind of fade. But I think it's because I used way too many water when I was painting it. But yeah, I mean, it stayed on the fabric and remained vibrant if used correctly. It does its job, its purpose, though, I would not suggest to wash this with other clothes, okay? Just to make sure. You might want to separate it from the others if you don't want some paint accident happening. Oh my god! Finally! Time to take the denim jacket out of the closet. Take it away past me that was recording this part of the video. Alright, I just woke up so if my voice sound different, that's why. Also, I'm very sorry. I'm not able to show the entirety of this jacket and that's because I have a small working area. You'll only get to see this part while I paint on it. I have to tell you though, I am a little bit worried because this denim jacket is really dark. And I really don't know how the paints would look like on a dark surface. You've seen where I tested the paints and that's on a lighter color. So really not sure how the paints would turn out on this one. And I'm really worried my dad would not like what I'm going to paint here. Because this is my dad's jacket. I totally forgot to mention that. This is my dad's jacket and I'm using his jacket because I do not have a denim jacket. Here, I'm just showing that I placed plank that's covered in newspaper underneath the part of the jacket where I'm going to paint. Just to make sure that no paint seeps through parts, you don't want them. And then I proceeded on putting masking tapes around the area where I want to paint. Firstly, I decided to do a sketch on the denim and honestly, I hope I 
planned on my sketchbook beforehand. I hope I did a lot of thumbnailing, but I was just really excited to paint on the jacket. So yeah, when that is done, I started painting. Take note though, I have never in my life painted on a canvas. And I heard that it's a bit harder to paint on denim. So I'm definitely ill prepared. This piece is actually inspired by one of my 2019 Inktober entry. Let me show you right here, somewhere on the screen. Yeah, I really love that. Just here, I drew a girl instead. It's kind of girly for my dad, to be honest. While you're watching the painting process, I'm gonna read some comments from my last video. All right, hey, interesting name. Uh, is there a possibility that you're a Filipino? Anyway, they said, this makes me want to paint all my calendars. And I love hearing about the people's OCs. You should totally make a video on that. I'm so glad that it inspired you to actually pimp your calendar too. And if you actually do, why not show me, you know? Show me in Twitter or Instagram, wherever, if you do post your artworks as well, you know? I'd love to see it. And um, thank you so much for showing interest for my OCs. I'll definitely make a video solely for them. So please watch out for that. Isara O. Wisp said, I love hearing about your process, so I'm glad you decided to speak for this one. Also, the calendar turned amazing. It's a magical transformation. And of course, I'd love to hear more about all your OCs. Izara, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for commenting on my video. I'm so happy that you're supporting me watching my videos. Um, Thank you so much. And... Of course, I know, I think I've said this on Instagram already, but I have never gotten into it, like, talking about my OCs. But I will. Soon. Very soon. I promise. 2020 goal. 2020. Grayson Creates said, Have a great new year. This is beautiful. Why, thank you. Thank you so much for leaving a comment and for clicking on my video. Guys, go check out grace and creates if you like peter joss or you like doodle art he's your dude okay he's your dude go check his channel out aurora's art world said wonderful painting let's see that magical world of yours <laughs> thank you so much it really warms my heart because people are showing interest on my OCs and that universe that I created in my head. <laughs> so yeah, I'll definitely, definitely share it to you guys. By the way, please, please go check out Aurora's Art World's channel too. She makes awesome, awesome artworks and she is a part of the Art Addicts Alliance. She makes a lot of great collabs with the others and lots and lots of entertaining content so go ahead and check her out hey hey i'm not a fan of the painting like, I wish I planned beforehand, like I said before, but I'm not mad at it. Something about the painting and the clothing, and especially when I peeled off the tapes, it made the whole thing quite satisfying, definitely. And oh my gosh, I was worried that the colors won't pop because the denim is way too dark, but that wasn't a problem at all. I definitely did a few layering though which is fine but it turned out so vibrant i love it i love it so much and i'm gonna keep painting on fabric after this definitely i hope my dad likes it sorry i won't be showing my dad's reaction and honestly i'm just excited for dad to use it outside because it's actually him advertising my painting and channel name right there 
<laughs> I'm gonna be painting more on my clothes. Definitely. Positively. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, please. Subscribe and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload. So you don't miss a thing. You can't miss a thing. And I will see you on the next video. Bye. Little update. I showed my dad. And yes, he agrees. It's girly. <laughs> but it was still epic, he said. Also, my brother said the same thing. They love it. Lol.